All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend sidereal astrology forecast. This is for July 20th through the 22nd of 2018. All right, so this weekend we do have the moon shifting signs each day of the weekend here. Um, on Friday, the moon's still in Virgo, as was the case most of this week. Uh, the sort of uh, detail oriented aspects of ourselves, striving towards that improvement and taking care of things. Um, and then as we get into later part of Friday and all day Saturday, uh, the moon in Libra suggesting um, probably relating themes around relating uh, relationships give and take and all in all bringing some balance into our life and then as we get into the later part of Saturday and into Sunday Venus is going to be sex dialing up to Jupiter um, which does suggest maybe a bit of an opening to enjoy maybe some of those connections and maybe the uh, simple material life and then all day Sunday the moon in Scorpio does suggest a bit a bit of depth uh, truth, uh, deep meaning in our life, all for that acceptance, which does lead to uh, a deeper connection to what matters most. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this weekend. We are gonna break it down one day at a time. Um, starting here on Friday 1st, you can see the moon finishing up Virgo and then shifting into Libra for Saturday and then into Scorpio for uh, Sunday. So we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, check out the link down below because the signs are different from mainstream astrology. Uh, Libra is a great example. As you can see, it's a very uh, small constellation relative to, say, Virgo. which is a very large constellation. So um, definitely does change the signs. All right, so let's look at this first for Friday, the moon finishing Virgo here. As was the case most of this week, um, if you felt a bit of that detail-oriented aspect of yourself, striving towards improvement, right, what can be fixed, organized, taken care of, um, that sort of stuff, uh, still likely the theme, at least for the bulk of the day until uh, the moon does shift into Libra, maybe in the evening for a lot of us. But uh, great to finish up the work, right? Finish up anything that does require a bit of that detail orientation, a bit of improvement, and fundamentally with Virgo, always good to be doing um, self-improvement and self-embetterment. So uh, no major aspects on um, Saturday, uh, but we will have the moon passing over Jupiter as the moon does enter Libra um, going into Saturday. So we'll likely notice a bit of a uh, shift going into Saturday where there's likely some themes pertaining to maybe relationships, one-to-one uh, -one connections, um, all in all for the sake of finding harmony and balance and mutuality and justice and doing the right thing, right? Morality, things like that. So that the scales are balanced in our interpersonal relationships but also balanced within ourselves. Always good to see if there's any areas of our life that might be out of balance and then bring them back into balance with this uh, Libra energy. So this is where Jupiter just went direct. Um, what was it? I guess it's been over a week now, uh, but he's slowly building his momentum. So this could activate the Jupiter energy, just noticing that things are moving forward a bit with whatever it is we've been open-minded about this year. And we can certainly uh, cultivate some of those possible opportunities this weekend. And this is uh, particularly the case because Venus will start to uh, sextile up to Jupiter going into Sunday. So this is not a major aspect, but it does bring up a bit of an opening here for maybe some of that Jupiterian energy. Again, maybe a bit of inspiration, open-mindedness, but particularly in the context of either relationships, which is what Venus can often represent. So, you know, really good for enjoying those connections, maybe discussing some philosophy, right? A broader perspective on things, that type of stuff. But also Venus does represent our material enjoyment. So maybe just enjoying the simple life, right? The good meal, relaxation, uh, connecting to earth, mother nature, these types of things can be great with the sex style. So again, an opening, we won't be forced into the energy but it is available. So if you do feel a bit of that open-mindedness about those Venusian things, could be a good day if you're guided to, to connect to those things. 
All right, and then as we get into uh, Sunday, the moon will go into deep Scorpio. So this is getting into the deeper dimensions of things and will lead us into Monday as well. Um, but in this case, um, we are actually entering into a bit of support with the lunar cycle. We're starting to gain some momentum here. So it'll probably be a little easier to work with. Uh, but in either case, uh, getting into the depths of things, if uh, you know any deep things do arise, which can sometimes be the case with the moon and Scorpio. The moon is our feelings. Scorpio unveils things that are normally hidden from us, so the unconscious. Uh, really good to become aware of what does come up and accept what does come up. And it's in this way that we do, again, connect to what matters most and practice that bit of you know acceptance, which does lead to transformation, possibly some healing, maybe some more healing, particularly on Monday, but at least with Scorpio becoming aware, right, of the deeper dimensions. And this, of course, can be with ourselves, but also relationships, since we do have a bit of that Venusian energy on um, Sunday. Good to practice a bit of that vulnerability with those that we do trust and those that we do want to you know, build deeper relationships with um, and that sort of thing. All right. So great day for that kind of stuff on Sunday. All right. So that's the weekend in a nutshell. I do want to say that as we come into the weekend, we will still be in the first quarter phase. So it's still, particularly Friday, Saturday, a good time to challenge ourselves towards any new beginnings that maybe you've become aware of since a week ago. A week prior to this, we had that new moon. So it's the first challenges of that where we want to challenge ourselves, right, to take maybe some action or initiative towards some of those perspectives or quite literal new things. And then as we get into Sunday, and into the early part of next week, a bit of momentum being built. We do enter into the gibbous phase, which will notice a bit of this uh, forward moving energy, a little bit more awareness, right, more insight. And that'll be gearing up for a lunar eclipse uh, the later part of next week. All right. So everyone have a fantastic weekend. Thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you all on Sunday for the daily forecast. Take care.